Hey guys, Valentine's Day is over and it's time for Easter basket planning. <laughs> Okay, so Easter baskets. It is really easy to find grass Easter baskets in the store, which are totally biodegradable, so that's great. I have chosen to go with reusable Easter, Easter baskets. These are fabric, they're cloth. I bought them a couple years ago, and they come out for Easter, and they get put away for Easter the next year. So I thought they're very, very cute and reusable. So that's what we've chosen to do. And what are we gonna fill them with? So first of all, Easter eggs. I purchased these really cool, and nesting eggs and so this this little guy he opens they all open and here is the nesting set sizes that came so these are all wooden and everyone except the last one opened so they can nest together and basically this was a really cool idea that I that I found online like looking through Etsy I did buy these from Amazon I also got these eggs from Amazon they're just solid little wooden eggs and they were really cost-effective so I bought these the downside though to this is these are pretty good. These came in a bulk Ziploc bag. So we got the Ziploc bag going on, but that was actually pretty decent. The thing about these guys though, is that they came not only wrapped in bubble wrap, but they're also shrink wrapped and they came in a plastic envelope into my mailbox. So very, very, very heavy on the plastic packaging when I was trying to get away from plastic eggs. And so one way that I thought we could maybe get around this, you can find these eggs all over Etsy. So I figure if you, if you buy from Etsy, you probably could message the seller and just request paper packaging and paper wrap around them rather than plastic. So it's definitely worth looking into if you wanna do this. The upside is we can use these every year. I plan to water down acrylic paint and paint them possibly make it a project with my kids, or I can paint them before we put them in the Easter basket, but I really wanna keep the wood grain. So I wanna do like sort of a stain effect where I keep that around. If you do have plastic eggs, the traditional little plastic eggs that open and close, it's not all bad. If they're number three to seven plastics, some recycling places will recycle that plastic, but you have to check with your place because not everybody does recycle those numbers. So check your egg numbers, the plastic numbers on your eggs, and check with your recycling depot to see if you can use that. So those are our Easter eggs that we're going to be using in our basket this year. And they're so cool. Like I love this, this little nesting guy because it can all just pile together. Oh. There we go. Like that. That little guy in there. There. And we'll put all the lids on. Like that. Okay, so that's going in our Easter basket. And I'll also do some really fun little colors of these little eggs too, just to add some fun in there. This is also great stuff that they can take to their play kitchen afterwards. The other thing about eggs is you need chocolate eggs at Easter time, of course. You're like, we eat tons of chocolate at Easter time. And you can't really get away from that, at least not in our house. So what I've done is I've purchased um, this bag of mini eggs. And the reason why I did that is because oftentimes when you're buying chocolate, everything is individually wrapped and there's so much packaging going into it. One way to help and make a better decision is to buy bulk. Buy something where not every little egg is individually wrapped. So these guys are in a big bulk package. And what I've done is I have made homemade little bag packages for my kids to go into their Easter baskets. I have a time lapse of how I made those. I will link it below if you guys wanna see. It's just an old pair of jeans, a little DIY project. There's lots of little homemade bags you can get online. So basically what I do is I'm gonna open it up open up our chocolates here, fill the bag, try to make it even, fair for all the kids, and then they just tie right up like this, cute little bow on it, and into the basket it goes. And there's their chocolate with no packaging on it. Of course, we do have the big package for one bulk bag, but it's a lot better than getting all the little packages. So that's a little help for your packaging. Next, I, I wanted something more fun that they could have that was Eastery, and I found these little carrots, and I thought these are so cool. You'll never guess, you guys. Okay, so they're gonna use these in their play kitchens afterwards, which is, which is great. I purchased them from a company called Living World, and they're pet toys. They're 100% biodegradable. They're meant to like give to your bunny to eat or to chew on to like help their teeth. So they are so fine and nothing bad about them. They do have a little plastic ties, but this is all cardboard, so it's biodegradable mostly. 
And so that little guy is gonna go in our Easter basket and we're gonna have some carrots in our play kitchen at the end of Easter. So I thought that is such a cool idea. Uh, next in our Easter basket, I thought, you know, every three months we usually buy a new toothbrush. And so this year I have switched to bamboo toothbrushes. And the reason why is because plastic toothbrushes are not something that's biodegradable and it's something that we do go through quite often. So if we can switch to bamboo, that's probably gonna be a better choice. It came, I got a set of four of these and they came in this box. Everything's cardboard, biodegradable, recycled. And so I thought this was a really good idea. One thing that you do still have to be aware of is if you're buying them off of Amazon or something, they could come in a plastic bag. Mine didn't, mine came in paper. Um, but if you can buy them locally, that's great. Actually, my local store, grocery store, does have bamboo toothbrushes and they are in like the traditional like plastic packaging, but it's all recycled plastic, which I really like. So sometimes buying local is actually a lot better than, actually all the time buying local is better than importing. So just be aware of that when you are looking for toothbrushes. The next thing that I have to go into my bag, it, or my or Easter baskets, I want to buy the kids all a little succul succulent this year. Now I have this little cactus with me for this video because it's not close to Easter yet, so I'm gonna get succulents. This might be a little pokey to give to the little one, but anyway, so I'm going to be putting a little succulent in each basket this year, and I thought, how cute, we can plant it up, we can have it in a pot in the house, when it's warm, we can maybe even put it outside. And that's a great, fun, springtime Easter addition to our eco-friendly Easter basket. The other thing that our Easter basket's gonna need, and I probably should have put it in first, is all of the usually fluffy paper plasticky stuff that you'll usually see in in like kind of filling Easter baskets. And I wanted to stay away from the plastic. You can't recycle it, you can't do anything with it. If you buy the paper um, fill, then if it's lightly dyed, then that's a great option uh, because you can recycle it. If it's heavily dyed though, you can't. But what I did is in the fall, I went outside and I cut a whole bunch of grass. This is literally grass from the ditch. And so this is going to be my fill at the bottom and coming up the sides of all of my Easter baskets to make them look very cute and festive and fantastic. So the other thing that I have is I'm going to be doing um, coloring sheets. Now I print off my own coloring sheets. I have like a Lego Easter Bunny here. I have a He Has Risen paper coloring sheet. And what I do is I just take a piece of string and I just tie them in a little tube, like a little scrolly tube like this and I just stick them in the Easter basket. And I usually put a few of pencil crayons or, or markers that we already have in our house with it. And so then they have a coloring sheet. So I think that this is a really fantastic way to do Easter because we have activities, we have chocolate, we have something yummy, we have something useful, we have toys. And this is just all something that's a better decision than what my traditional Easter baskets have looked like in the past. So I am aiming to make better choices this year and I hope this video is really inspirational for some ideas that you might have. Something else that we do every Easter is I go to the florist and I buy a palm branch for each of my kids. They're not expensive, I just buy one for each kid and there's a whole bunch, if you look on Pinterest, there's a whole bunch of cool little uh, palm branch crafts that you can do if you're like folding them and you can let them dry. We've made bookmarks with them and they can be a really fun and very eco-friendly option as well. So check with your local florist on Easter time because they usually have palm branches come in even if they don't normally carry them. So I hope this video is helpful for you and encouraging you to make it more eco-friendly Easter basket this year. I did a video that I will be posting about how I'm using things that I already have in my home for Easter this year and it's going to be eco-friendly because we're reusing and it's also going to be very easy on the budget because it's stuff that I don't have to purchase. So go check that link out below if that's something that interests you and we will talk to you guys next time. And also if you have great eco-friendly ideas for Easter baskets this year, please comment below so we can all look through the comments and get more ideas on how to make better choices this Easter and I look forward to our next video together. Bye!